I, I watch your vlog. I, I always watch your vlog. I like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Number one. I didn't pay him to say that. He just did. <laughs> <laughs> Pacific Explorer, sailing away from Sydney, and even partnering with PO, taking over their Facebook, and creating boomerangs for their Instagram. And if you want to, you can follow my Instagram. Alright, so I'm here on the Pacific Explorer. And now, I got a list of questions from Facebook and Instagram for a Q&A. And now, it's question and answer time with Danny Blanc. What is a two cent piece? What the heck does that mean? So on Facebook, Courtney Manning, she asked, what is the best location to have a room on the ship? Because she's worried about having seasickness I say this now because the ship's actually pretty rocky and my room feels like it's the worst. <laughs> so if you look at a ship, you'll notice that the top part feels more of the motion than the bottom part. It's science. Yes, science! And for me, in rough conditions, I like to get outside either on the back or the front. Do I ever get seasick? Um, the answer is no. Sometimes I feel those big swells and like a whoa, and it's like a mind over matter thing. If you're busy doing like work or trying to work on stuff, you're not gonna feel it as much as if you're just laying around in your room. So Jess was asking, is there a morgue on the ship? Like when people die, is like, what do they do with their bodies? Uh, not that it happens all the time, but it does happen enough. They do have a morgue on this ship. On the ship. What? I'll show you later. So I'm doing this Q&A for a lot of people. Uh, they ask like questions about ship yeah. life. One of them was, do you ever get tired of the passengers asking for horses? <laughs> I'll bet you do. I think they want to hear horses. That's the way it's gonna be. Riding on the horses, yeah, yeah. By the way, shout out to my awesome crowd in the ocean bar. You know who you are. Yeah. Alright, Michelle Bush asked, can you vape on your private balcony? I don't really have a lot of experience with that. I know that there are smoking sections on all the starboard sides of the ship, like on the outside. As far as vaping goes, because I know that's not really a fire hazard, they say you're not allowed to vape, not allowed to use your e-cigarettes on the balcony, just you gotta go to the designated smoking areas. Yes. Or just stop smoking all together. I mean, it's another way to do it. Yeah. Thanks guys. Thank yes, got our photos. We went to prom. <laughs> Finally. Apparently the new hangout for the kids is under the stairs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what happens when you don't have the internet all the time. Then I asked if I can get him two bottles of Jack Daniels for $55 from Judy Free. I say I can't because I'm too young to buy alcohol. Boom! Sorry, Ben on. Kim Smith asked, does she get to see me at the Oregon Jamboree this year? Actually, I just confirmed that all and it's happening and I will be there this summer, uh, American summer. Jamie asks, when am I going to be on a ship close to us? And I think that means US. If I get a good offer and Emma and I can both go on it, we'd definitely be on it. Good old Stephen McLaughlin asks, can I sneak him on board? Well, um, no. you might need to work on your contortionism a little bit because you have to fit in my suitcase. Hi. So on Instagram, Kyle asks, what's the longest I've ever stayed on a cruise ship? Six months. By the end of it, you're like, get me out of here. Don DiNatelli asks a lot of questions. He said something like, uh, what privileges do I get on board? Difference from position to position. As far as me, I get a lot of guest privileges. I can go to all the restaurants and do all the fun stuff. Then he asked, does my dad ever mooch a trip? Only once. 
to the Mediterranean with my mom and that was a great time. So I welcome them to mooch as many trips as they can off of me, that's for sure. On Instagram, Tracy asks, what's the worst part about ship life? It sounds really cheesy, but like I think that the worst part about ships for me is leaving the ship after you've been relaxing for like a whole cruise and then you just have to like get back to the hustle and bustle of real life. Hey Lydia, it's your sex on the beats. Okay. It's not mine. I didn't order this. Buster asks, who's my favorite juggler? You know Buster? <laughs> you don't know Buster? I think Johnny Balance is a juggler, but not like a full-time juggler, so I'm gonna have to go with Buster. It is my favorite juggler. On Instagram, Bill was asking, how many hours of sleep do I get a day? And that actually depends on if I have an inside cabin or a cabin with a porthole because that sun coming in makes all the difference. Like if I'm in an inside cabin, I will sleep probably 10 to 12 hours a day. So Greg asks, where's the Pacific Pearl? Um, so that got decommissioned and I think they sold it to another company. So Jen was asking, what fun stuff is there to do on sea days? And uh, for that, I'm gonna introduce you to this guy right here. This is Rory and he's gonna take us on all the fun stuff on a different video. So you have to watch that coming out soon. Josh on Facebook was asking about the food on all the ships, and so I thought I'd take you to all of the restaurants, although I don't want to do it by myself. I have another Danny here. Oh, looking so coy and casual. What's up, party people? Welcome on board the X Pacific Explorer. My name is Danny. And for that, you're gonna have to watch on another video, so make sure you check that out. Yep. Mm. It just melts in your mouth. We have a lot of fun working on cruise ships. Good shows, good parties, good food. Crazy fun nightlife. And you just make a lot of friends. Oh. All right, just like that, this is my least favorite part of being on ships. It's time to go. But I'm also excited because I have a lot of really cool things coming up. I'm going on all of the other ships of the fleet like in the next two months, so <laughs> it's really loud here, but I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Now, be a good chum and hit that subscribe button. They do have a morgue on this ship, but some ships they have to get creative with the freezer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so enjoy your food, guys. Say what's for lunch. <laughs> 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 Just like my voiceover guy said, hit that subscribe button if you want to follow along. Click that little bell next to it and it will send notifications. And if you like this video, check out my last ship Q&A video.